Okay, I thought that I would make some sassafras tea. And this is a sassafras tree. And uh, sassafras has three different shaped leaves. It has the plain leaf. It has what I call the mitten leaf. And then it has get these other leaves out of the way. Um, the trident leaf. Sorry. Okay. And they are smooth. They're very smooth. They're not jagged. It's another way to tell it apart. Um, this is a very, very young tree. You can tell by the bark. Or lack of bark. Um, let me find you an older one. Because they usually don't grow straight. Um, this is an older tree right here. Um, let me get. Let me go around. Okay, right here. Um, this is a sassafras tree. Um, they usually do not grow straight. See how this one's crooked. I've oh, got another one over here. And um, this one, see by the branches, it's just it's a really hard bark. And they're usually pretty crooked growing. So let's go make some tea. So I'm just going to pick some leaves and um, rinse them off. And then I will... Uh, making some tea which I know I've already said about six times maybe more and yes this is what they used to use to make uh, sassafras beer out of you know make sure it's a sassafras tree they're really easy to identify. It smells really good. It smells it smells uh, sweet and a little bit minty. Okay, so let me take some of these leaves here. And I'm going to break them up. Break them up. Kind of squish them. Sorry, I'm always hitting the tripod. Make sure hands kind of feel soapy a little bit. Okie dokie. There we go.
Okay, now if you want to, you can put a little grate over this, but um, these sides right here kind of act the same way. And obviously, before you make your fire, you want to adjust them to hold your pot. And that is just a, uh, I think it was a can of peaches or something like that. Added a little bit more wood. It's doing good though. Alright, let's check on it. It looks pretty good. I'm supposed to steep it. Steepy, steepy. Well, hope it tastes better than it looks. Ooh, that's really like thick and syrupy too. Ew. <clears throat> Might have used too many leaves, eh? <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of gross. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I just don't know about all this. Well, <clears throat> it definitely needs sugar. It's really not that strong. It didn't feel thick in my mouth either, so I don't know why it was pouring that way. That was really weird. Um, I don't know. It, it was all right. Um, I think I'll stick with the pine needle tea. <clears throat> Maybe it needed to steep a little bit longer. Live and learn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean. I don't know, uh, I'm uh, not sure about that one, you know. It needs something, definitely needs something. There's not enough flavor. I added a lot of leaves too, so that's just weird. It tastes good, but it doesn't have a good enough taste, so. <clears throat> 